Hello everyone, in this project you're going to request sensor data via SMS. This project allows you to request temperature and humidity readings by sending an SMS to your Arduino. We're going to use the DHT11 sensor to read temperature and humidity and the SIM900 GSM shield to send and receive SMS with the Arduino. To use the shield you need an active SIM card. We recommend you getting a SIM card with a prepaid plan. You also need to turn off the pin lock. The easiest way to do this is to insert the SIM card in your smartphone and turn off the pin lock in the phone security settings. In my case I need to go to settings, general, security, setup SIM card lock and turn off the lock SIM card with PIN. After having the SIM card prepared, you can insert it on the shield. You might need to get a standard SIM card adapter. Then, check if your antenna is well connected. You are going to communicate with a GSM shield with a serial software configuration. So, you need to make sure the jumper cap is connected as shown here. It is recommended to power up the shield using an external 5 volts 2 amps power supply. We're using a power adapter like this. To use the external power adapter, you need to select the power switch to the external position. You can test if the shield is working properly by sending 80 commands from the Arduino IDE using an FTDI programmer. Check the instructions below this video to see how to do it. Here's how the circuit for this project looks like after assembling. After uploading code to your Arduino, power up the GSM shield by holding down the power key for about 2 seconds. The status LED lights up and the net light LED will blink every 800 milliseconds until it finds the network. When it finds the network, the night light LED starts blinking every 3 seconds. Now, if you send an SMS with a message state to the Arduino, it replies back after a few seconds with the latest temperature and humidity readings. Keep reading this page for the complete project instructions.